Hey Dana! And hello friends! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Becky from the Radical Restart. Girl, today it got real. I gotta tell you, it got real. I came home and guess what I found out? I found out that I lost a subscriber. <laughs> Yeah, big girl, she was upstairs. She's like, Mom, don't worry, don't worry. I'm like, yeah, I know, I know. It really, in the scheme of things, it really is not that big of a deal. But you know what? This actually gives me a great chance to talk to you about a page that I made in my journal. Uh, so we're going to kind of deviate on this episode a little bit. And I'm going to take you on a dive into a journal page that I made for a time such as this. Because, you know, we all have those times in our lives when we just want to be loved. We want to be accepted. We want to have friends. And um, sometimes when we put ourselves out there, you know, we risk being vulnerable. And that's very scary. And sometimes it's okay to sit, sit in the feeling and know that not everybody, not everything that you do is going to be their cup of tea, right? So if you are sticking around and you are a subscriber, thank you, bestie. Thank you. You're with Dana and me. Um, you're in our club. And we really appreciate your love and your support. Um, but today, I just want our voices to be heard. Not just mine, but ours. So let me explain. I'm going to turn you around after we have a slurp session. Get yourself a good cup of joe, tea, water, anything you want. Mm. Right now, right now, coffee is the way to go. So, I'm going to turn you around. Like I said, we're in my basement. I don't have any fancy frills. So, we're just going to dive right in. So, we're going to take you on a, on a trip. And let me show you what I got going on here. And since I'm not going to be able to see what you see, please forgive my feet. Please forgive my legs. Um, but I want to show you a page that I made in this journal. And it was actually not for me. It was, we're going to say it's sort of for me. Sort of not. I actually made the page with a friend of mine in mind. She is amazing at her craft. Um, not only is she just an amazing person, but she's a singer and she was the one that actually kind of inspired this page. Uh, the first time I was able to go back and, and go and enjoy her music again. And the reason why I love, love, love it is because it's almost like a vacation. So I put the vacation in there um, just as part of it. But we'll get back to that. This is the actual page that I want to show you that I made. And this kind of came out of um, just a little bit of a thought on acceptance and where we are with acceptance and you know sometimes sometimes we don't feel like everybody is in our corner but you know what that may be okay because it may open the door for somebody new so doesn't look like my tripod is going to work with me so I'm just going to go ahead and do what I can to bring you closer to the page but this just kind of fell out one night as I was kind of sitting and watching TV. I, I kind of like the images. 
I like the joyful, I don't know, refreshing images that were on this page. And so I put the pa put the images on first and it was just blank. It was just all pink. There was no color, no nothing. And I started fleshing out a question that kept going around and around in my mind. Because I was thinking about this friend of mine who is such an amazing singer. And I don't know that she, I don't think that she even doubts whether or whether she um, has people that like what she does or, you know, I, I don't know. Just for me, if I was on stage, I would, I would, this is what I would be asking myself. The one question I keep asking myself is, did I start this so that everyone in the world would love me? No. I do this because I love this work. I want to share my gift with the world. Those who love it will receive a gift with my whole heart. Those who don't can leave with a free take-home bag. And I put, you're welcome. <laughs> So this page just kind of spoke to me about the question of acceptance, the question of love and acceptance. Excuse me while I get Mr. Mazi out of here. Mr. Mazi, go upstairs. I know, I know you want to tell everybody hello. Look up here. No, no, no. Look up here. Where are you at? Say hi. Come sit down here. Over here. <laughs> Come down here. I know you want to tell everybody hi. Come here. Look at me. Where are you at? Mazi, up here. I'm right here. Say hi. Hi. Give me five. Give me five. There it is. Okay, go upstairs. Go upstairs. Be a big girl. So, anyway, I wanted to share this page with you. Go on. Go all the way. Upstairs. Don't mind me while I correct my dog. Go upstairs. All the way. So I wanted to share this page with you and just show you something that, you know, it may not be a magazine. Um, sometimes I think, well, if I put this project out here, somebody may just automatically skim over it because it's, they think, nope, this is not something that I can do. This is not something for me. But you know what? Over the years, I have watched many, many wonderful wonderful artists and I have not only gained knowledge along the way on how they actually developed their vision and their process, but I also gained a lot of wisdom along the way. And so that is my gift to you that I hope you will receive and you will have my whole heart. Um, okay, so now, without further ado, Dana, we're going to get back to the page because we're going to get back on track um, after our last session and last episode. We were working on this wording, which I'm pretty well satisfied with it. Now that word recognize, it kind of seems to flow. Um, but there is a portion of this page that... I haven't shown you how I'm going to kind of, some of the images I want to kind of push back, some of them I want to kind of bring forward. So that's what I hope to share with you today, is how I'm going to push back some images. One of the images that's on, on this page that I, I like it, the reason why I have this flower is because I actually had a different word that was on this page and I did not like it. And I went to tear it off, and lo and behold, the paint came off with it. So I had to find something that either I had a decision to make. I was either going to try to match the paint, find the paint, and repaint over it. And I thought, no, 
I'm just going to replace it with an Im image. So I have this image of this flower that I really liked. I like daisies. They just happen to be one of my flowers. Um, and I'm going to show you what I do once I get these uh, images glued and adhered. I left it I left it undone on purpose so that I could show you why I put this flower down on the page. But now that you know, I'm actually going to go ahead and glue it on down. Um, and if you are not familiar with my process and you haven't watched any of my other videos, this bottle, I use this bottle of tacky glue. It's just something I got from Walmart for a buck. And I use a mixture of just plain old, plain Jane craft glue. And I've got some liquid spray adhesive that I found at the Dollar Tree. And I do about a, I don't know, probably a half and half or, you know, three quarter, third, maybe a third liquid to two thirds of, of solid glue. I kind of find that, that that tends to be a good ratio for gluing down images on the page. So this image, I found uh, old art supplies that I've had. Big Girl got these for me for my birthday a long time ago and haven't used them a whole lot. I have a few that I use quite often and then some that I don't. So what I decided to do was try to find something that was similar to the background page. Let's just get you in here a little bit tighter. That way you can kind of see. It's not the same color exactly, but you know what? That's not what I'm going for anyhow. I'm going to just, I just want to push it back a little bit. And so I think I decided, I know this is a little bit of a bright orange, but we're going to try it anyway. Let's just look and see what it looks like. I can't remember if this is the same orange or not. But you can see right away, it starts to actually blend it back a little bit. And with the markers like this, I can actually layer the colors if I don't like them. You know, I can, I can just go and play a little bit more. And if I don't like it, guess what? I can rip it right off. <laughs> I am not attached. That's one of the best things that I like about um, about art journaling this style is that I don't have to be as attached to my artwork. So let's just see what this little pink does. I don't know if I like that or not. Well, I think I actually do. So we're going to go with our gut. I know it's a little bit darker now, but I think I would rather it be a little bit darker than actually lighter. And the reason why is because I'm actually going to fussy, fussy trace. Dana laughs at me all the time because I say fussy cut when I'm cutting out the flowers. Um, but if I, if I do, I, I have not coined that phrase. But I ha am coining the phrase fussy trace or fussy draw. And I actually found out the power of that last night while I was working on this page a little bit. See, I don't necessarily like what I'm doing, but that's okay. I'm going to make it happen. Why? Because... The whole YouTube universe is going to see, or can see, if you like and subscribe. <laughs> but I thought about, you know, if you want to see some, I originally started this, this, this channel to do cash stuffing and budgeting. And, you know, if you like that and you want to see a little more of that, let me know. Maybe I can add a little dash of this and a little dash of that. 
It looks a little darker on the screen than it does on the page. So if I scroll back a little bit more, I mean, it's gonna be, it stands out. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace around it with my black. I'm just not gonna be afraid because being in a magazine like this is all about embracing the mess and making it into something that you that you like. So, with that being said, I have one more thing that I had to show you while I, we're gonna let that dry. We're talking about the the power of the fussy trace. Let's get let's let's dive into this little flower, this flower girl. Dana gave me an amazing idea last night. Um, yeah, Dana watches all of my videos before you get to watch my videos. <laughs> I actually record and show her before I show the world. And she had given me an idea. I was talking about having a headband or, you know, not quite liking what I saw on her hair yet. I don't see it exactly. And Dana told me, girl... She says, get you a ribbon. Get a ribbon. And I looked up, and lo and behold, I had a ribbon. It looks a little more purple than it actually does in reality. So I think what I'm going to be doing is relifting up this flower. And we're going to give her a headband. Uh, kind of like so. Kind of like that. We'll just kind of give her a little headband and uh, and see how that goes. I like that idea, Dana. I'm not going to do it on screen because I want to show you the power of the fussy trace. Are you ready, Dana? She's going to laugh at me. Everybody, jump on here, comment, tell Dana not to laugh at me when I say fussy. All right. So what I found, let's see, I know I'm zoomed in quite a bit. But what I found are, I have a Sharpie, a regular Sharpie pen, but then I also have this, it's, I got this from a back to school sale. It's a Bic Intensity Fine Liner is what it is. And it has a very, very, very fine point. I don't know if you can see that on screen. Let's see if we can, um, can get it in comparison. Let's see if I can get it in comparison. I mean, I guess they're they're about the same now that I look at them. It just it feels finer because the the nib of the pen is skinnier, I guess. But either way, it really doesn't matter. So what I found while I was working on this flower, I knew I wanted to take this flower and get a little something going on. I think you can see the lines that I began as I began tracing, but can you see the difference between this side of the image versus this side that has nothing? I hope you can. So this is my version of fussy tracing. Fussy tracing is not caring and doing squiggly lines and even dashed and dotted lines versus doing straight lines along the page because it gives you a little more of a sketchy feel. So if you can see that, how, I sure hope this is showing up on camera. Let me see if I can get you zoomed in. Yep, you're as far as you, you're as far as, as my tripod, sorry, as far as my tripod will let you. But let me, let me bring it up a little bit so you can see the lines. So do you see the difference in the lines? So that's a little bit of the fussy. Those are a little bit straighter. You see how I have them straighter towards the center of the flower versus the outside of the petal. And whenever you are zooming out on it, it looks a little sketchier, you know, a little more artistic. And I think that's what I'm going to go for. 
rather than having just um, trying to follow the lines and be perfect. And my brain will will get OCD and say, no, this is not right. And we've got to start all over again. And so we're going to keep our brains from saying that. We're just going to, we're just going to let our mind relax. And I hope you've learned something from this point of view. My timer has gone off, which means it is time for me to say goodbye. So we're going to take you on a little journey. And now you get to see me in my full glasses because that's what I have to do whenever I fussy cut or fussy trace. I have to be able to see it just a little bit closer. Yeah. I'm not showing my age at all. Right, Dana? We're young. We're young, girl. Well, I hope you learned something today and I hope that I have inspired you to pursue an avenue to find your voice whether it is on paper, whether it is through images, whether it is through drawing, um, anything, literally just anything that allows you a moment to stop, to breathe, and to take care of yourself. All right, until next time, next episode. Bye now.